Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I would like to explain in details on to a investment mold casting process or you can say lost wax pattern process. So let us start with uh, some of the introductions about investment mold casting process. So basically investment mold casting also called as a precision castings or you can say lost wax process is an ancient methods of casting complex shapes like impellers, turbine blades and other airplane parts that are difficult to produce by any another manufacturing process. So that will be the most precise casting methods. So you can make a highly grade components with the help of investment mold casting process which will be also used to making a high precise and small size of the casted components. So basically just you can see the various steps is being followed to making a investment mold casting process. So in this video we discussing these all steps along with the advantages and limitations of the investment mold casting process. So let us start with the first steps for making a investment mold. So first of all in step number one die and pattern making. So just you can see this is our pattern making process. So basically the pattern materials here that will be a wax materials. So wax materials that will be easily converting into desired shape and size as per my requirements. So in this process wax material it will be used as a pattern materials. So a wax pattern is prepared by ejecting the liquid wax into a prefabricated die having a same geometry of the KVT of the desired cast products. So with the help of dye materials this liquid form of the wax which will be introduced and making the wax patterns as per my requirements. Then just you can see into the second steps that will be the sprue mechanisms or you can say here that will be making a one kind of patterns or you can say jobs kind of shapes along the both the sides of the wax sprue. So just you can see the several such patterns are produced into the similar manners and then attached to a wax get and sprue by means of a heated tools or melted wax to form a tree kind of shapes. So if there will be the requirement of the same size and shape of the components so that will be attached from both the sides with the help of this kind of getting mechanisms right. So in this process that will be the one of the advantages if you want to make the dissimilar kind of shape and size kind of components. So you just make a uh, patterns as their shapes and it will be attached along both the side with a wax sprue with a getting systems. Then after as you can see for the investment molding process. So in second step pre coating wax patterns. So just as you can see so these wax patterns it will be poured into the coated environments or you can say this tree is coated by dipping into a refractory slurry. So basically this slurry that will be made with a mixture of the finely ground silica floor suspended into the ethyl silicate solutions. So this ethyl silicate solutions it will be act as a binder. So just you can see these mixers it will be stick around a this wax tree because this is a pattern materials and that will be wax materials. So that will be easily coated onto the wax pattern. Then the coated tree is sprung with silica sand and allowed to dry. So that is our figure 3 and 4. So after dipping the this wax tree now the 
this mixtures it will be stick onto the outer side and it will be make it dry so after this what happens just you can see that will be the step number three so that will be investment so what is the meaning of that the pre-coated tree is coated against so that will be one kind of investment so by dipping in a more viscous slurry and made a refractory floors so basically fused silica alumina that will be used and liquid binders as a colloidal silica sodium silicates as a binder and dust it with a refractory sense so that will be the investment so the process of the dipping and dusting is repeated until a solid cell of the desired thickness so generally that will be around 6 to 10 mm is being achieved around this wax patterns so just you can see this mixture of the slurry with the binders that will be sticking onto that particular outer side of the wax patterns then the some important notes for the investment molding process the first coating is composed by very fine particles that produce a good surface finish whereas the second coating which is referred as a investment is coarser so as to build up the cell of the desired thickness so basically that second dipping that will be increasing the strength or you can say thickness of that particularly slurry components then into the investment mode the next steps that will be de-waxings so just you can see by the heating of that particular all the components so what happens this wax materials it will be in the form of the liquid so that will be easily run away from these patterns right so it will be making the one this kind of kvt right so just you can see in these steps the tree is placed in an inverted positions and heated in an oven to about 300 fahrenheit so the wax melts and drops down leaving a mold cavity that will be filled later by the molten form of the metals so this is the way it will be inverting and heated after this the reheating the mold so basically the mold is heated about 1000 to 2000 degree fahrenheit or you can say around 550 to double one double zero degree centigrade to remove any residuals of the wax at the same time to harden the binders so that will be also increasing the strength of that particularly mold cavity which will be made with the help of wax tree or you can say wax materials then after in step number six melting and pouring just you can see once again it will be inverted and just you can see the molten form of the metals which will be pouring so by this sprue kind of mechanisms and this one is our getting systems so it will be poured into the mold cavity so this one shape or you can say cavity that will be my required shape and size of my components so the mold is placed in a flask supported with a backing materials and the liquid metals of the desired compositions is poured under the gravity or by using a air pressures depending upon the requirements if it will be the complex geometry so you can use the air pressures otherwise it will be directly pouring into the mold cavity then final after the metal cools and solidifies the investment is broken by using chisels or hammer and then castings is cut from a getting systems cleaned and finished so just you can see these all sand particles or you can say investments that need to be removed so just you can see these all are the required shape and size of the metallic materials so this one is our final shape and size 
So this is the method of the investment mold casting process. Or you can say investment is being used to making the components. The major advantages of this process is what? That will be used for making a small size of high precise components. In the single wax tree, you can also make the different shape and size of the components. Then some of the advantages gives good surface finish and dimensional tolerance to the castings. Eliminates the machining of the cost parts because it will be having a higher finishing at the end of the this process. Wax can be reused. Then some of the limitations or disadvantages. Process is expensive. Size and weight range of the castings is limited. In some cases, it is difficult to separate the refractories or you can say investment from the castings, which is a major issue in the case of the investment mold casting process. Requires more processing steps, so it takes more time. It is quite difficult to handling from one place to another place. I hope you understand this. If you like this, then subscribe and share Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. Thank you so much and keep watching.